What's up, Air Signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you, motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for the air gods, okay? For the motherfucking weekend, baby. Let's see what's going down. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, you already know that I'm going to start out with you. Then we're going to go on to Libra and then Aquarius. So here we go. Let's see what's going on with you off top, Gemini, for the weekend. We're going to get the magical messages from the fairies. And I'm going to keep on smoking. So smoke with me, baby. Okay. All right. You've got the power, Gemini. You're, use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. So some of you all are thinking about a situation that you feel you needed to resolve on your own. Okay, or there is something within that you're going to come to a final solution. Okay, also could be needing to connect with nature. You, you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. Okay, so some of y'all need to connect with the trees, the flowers. All right, some of y'all might need to get out and about, take a walk. Okay, Gemini, so, I don't know what this is, it's called. So, there's definitely something that's inspirational here for some of you Geminis in nature. All right, let's see what's going on with you, what the message is, and the advice. I'm seeing you're going to be going along with the flow. Some of y'all are going to be in... A very high state of mind with this crown chakra. Some of you guys are really going to be thinking of new ideas, new beginnings. Your intellect is what's, you know, very prominent here. For some of you guys, you can be staying up at nighttime thinking about new moves and new motives, okay? Now, for some of you guys, I feel like there is this vibe of you feeling like you need to hurry up and make some sort of decision or there are some decisions that you need to make or you have some sort of deadline here. Okay, let's see what's going on um, with you with Tarot, what Tarot has to say. Give me two cards for Gemini. Give me two cards for Gemini. Okay, Nine of Swords. Yeah, so like I said, you're going to be in your head. You could be having anxiety. You could be staying up at nighttime with these ideas, with these thoughts. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but... You could be in your head too much. You need to set this plan into motion for some of you guys. You need to just let things go with the flow. Go with the current is what I'm seeing here, Gemini. Now, for some of you guys, I'm saying that for a lot of you, you already have the power to get through your situations, okay? I feel with the uh, Hierophant energy and also the Three of Cups, there could be some sort of invite or you guys are in some sort of celebration of some sort of commitment here. For some of you guys with the hair font and also the three of cups. So you could be dealing with family, friends, things of that nature. Or um, dealing with people that give you happiness here. Okay, so let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Let's see what's going on between you and your partner, Gemini. Clean this shit up. Okay. Here we go, babies. All right. Off top. I feel like between you and your partner, there is this sexual tension. Could be some um, obsessions here. But I feel like there is a basis between you and your partner where there's a third party or there could be a lot of partying and drinking. You got the devil energy here. So let's see what the romance angels have to say, Gemini. All right. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning, Gemini, for the weekend. So you could be trying to reconcile or have a reconsideration of 
what you feel this person is going to do for you or what you're going to feel in this vibe, okay? Because it's saying to trust the situation is calling for you to have faith, Gemini. And also retreat. So like I said, there could be a party, a gathering of some sort. You and your partner could be having a lot of sex with this devil energy here, okay? Could be obsessing yourselves with each other. But definitely with that devil energy here, I feel you and your partner have some obsessions. Um, but there's also this tension here. Someone feels like they need to leave away or they need to guard themselves is what I'm seeing here, Gemini, between you and your partner. Definitely could be some sort of message, okay? Or someone is messaging you, possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be in their sun, moon, and rising. Um, I do feel like there is some sort of third-party situation going on or a heartbreak or someone is trying to let go of this uh, heartbreak is what I'm seeing here. Also with the four of swords, someone's definitely wanting to take a break from this situation, okay? Something that is definitely toxic here. But I feel like you guys are bound or there is a lot of sexual tension, all right, between you and your partner, Ace of Wands. Also, Gemini, the world. So Ace of Wands, world energy, star, you could be dealing with an Aquarian, all right? Also, Leo, Sag, Aries, definitely a fire sign or a water sign or an air sign here, all right? I feel between you and your partner, someone is kind of distanced and detached, this is you, Gemini, with this Queen of Swords. Okay, you cut. You could be wanting to be, you know, chatty, Kathy, chit chat and talking to motherfuckers and shit like that. But you do feel like there is this tension between you and your partner that's unspoken, especially about a third party situation. But I do feel um, a lot of you guys are trying to overlook that. Your partner could be overlooking that as well too. Six of Cup energy here, also three of wands, Gemini. So definitely leaving a third party situation behind, focusing on new beginnings is what I'm seeing here between you and your partner. Will of fortune, closing a cycle out as well. Definitely could be some children involved, okay, that cause some chaos or conflict. But I feel like you guys have some offers here. But with this 10 of cups, there is definitely going to be a new beginning. So let's see their intentions, Gemini. Let's see your person's intentions. All right, so far here, we have the five of wands, baby. Also, <laughs> that's coming in reverse. Also, the eight of wands. So definitely some tension that's being released here. I feel like the pettiness, the arguments are dying down. I do feel um, with this eight of wands, it's going to be communication. Um, this person, it looks to me like they're trying to just, you know, have some alone time with you is what I'm seeing here. Ace of swords, energy, a lot of communication. Could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, with this uh, King of Pentacle energy here, Gemini. So I do feel a possible outcome. There will be a message that you might receive from this person. Um, there's definitely going to be some action taken this weekend. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, somebody is getting to it, okay? Could be a lot of people that are in admiration for you and spying on you, Gemini. Page of Swords, okay? They don't have to be spying on you um, in, your, in your overall, you know, environments but they could be i don't know if that's the neighbor or what yeah see i will fuck a neighbor up and they kids they bad ass but anyway um i do have here the page of swords <laughs> i have the page of swords and um i feel like with the page of swords six of wands a lot of you gemini's are thinking about um all of these people possible virgo taurus capricorn that's watching you or this could be somebody who has had a lot of jealousy for you at some point in time that could be watching you online, things of that nature, sneaking, doing sneaky behavior, impulsive behavior as well. So definitely be aware of that. Possible outcomes. I do feel a lot of you guys have new beginnings coming in. Your wish fulfillment, your happiness is coming in. But try not to drink too much. Try not to overindulge too much in the smoking and the drinking and the food and things of that nature. But I do feel there is a new beginning. Happiness is coming definitely okay with the full energy the hangman there is somebody who might be uh chilling just hanging out okay around the neighborhood getting things done got the lover's energy i feel like there's a decision that you're gonna have to make either about a possible scorpio possible aquarian energy also aries as well um but for some of you guys i feel like um there's a new beginning that someone wants to start with you um ten of pentacle energy here okay 
So definitely thinking of new actions, taking care of your um, family matters or situations with your children. But I feel like some of you all could be overindulging or doing too much of sex, drugs, and motherfucking rock and roll. Okay, Gemini? So slow down on that motherfucking shit because I know I be smoking a lot, but I be by myself. Okay, and can't nobody tell me shit when I'm by myself, but I know when I'm overindulging. All right, so something is definitely gonna blossom for you, Gemini, for the weekend, baby. Something is unleashing itself. You guys are starting to see your shine. Okay, now with that six of wands energy, you guys could be having a victory, or there could be, um, you know, just a celebration of coming in for you for all that you've done, you know, and it could bring in a lot of balance for you, Gemini, but it's definitely time to make a decision. Okay, on something that's been plaguing you for a while. All right. So let's see what's going on to my Libras. Let's get these magical messages from the fairies. Here we go. We have be yourself and let go, Libra. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis of your personal power, Libra. And also let it go, Elsa, as you surrender the need to control your relaxed energy rapidly attracts what you desire. So a lot of you guys need to just let go of the control and the universe is going to bring it to you anyway. Okay, baby. So let's get an advice card for you, Libra. And then we will, ooh, open up. Hold on, Libra, baby. Is it? We got to open up. Look, it looks like she's about to open up some legs, Libra. <laughs> so, definitely open up. You could be needing to open up your lines of communication, your conversation, okay, your connections. But definitely some balance here, baby. This is you, Libra. So, it's saying to let go of what doesn't serve you. Some of you all need to just be yourself and just let everything flow out. Open up with smooth and with ease is what I'm seeing here, Libras. Okay. So, let's see. And give me two cards for Libra. Here we go. Give me two cards for Libra. All right. We got the Magician and also, wow. Okay. So, with the Seven of Wands here and the Magician, I feel a lot of you guys are thinking about what you can manifest here. Okay. Also, with the Seven of Wands, combating off this energy, okay, you guys might be fighting off a lot of people, a lot of things. People could be having, trying to grasp for your attention. I got the Six of Wands energy here. Also, the High Priestess. So, I do feel for a lot of you guys, you're opening up your intuition with this um, High Priestess Magician energy. You guys are going to be utilizing all of your abilities. This is being yourself and being in your power with this Magician and the High Priestess, okay? Six of Wands energy is definitely telling me that for some of you guys, um, you're bringing in a lot of success, but you're com combating off a lot of energy, a lot of people. These people are grasping for your attention. They're wanting your attention because you are being yourself, okay, for the weekend. So try not, try not to have so much tension um, because it will hinder your growth if you feel like you just can't let things freely um, be out there, okay? So just let it out if you need to. Let it go, Elsa. Let's see what's going on between you and your partner, babies. We're going to check out um, the Romance Angels. You already know how I do. Ooh, reconciliation, Libra. And also let your friends help you. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So you already know we are in Mercury retrograde, baby. So somebody is returning to you. And you might need to talk to your friends about this so you can figure out this situation out or just get some support, some guidance. Um, but there's definitely something with your partner that you might be taking some time to disconnect from the world and also to retreat is what I'm seeing here. So let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Here we go. Off top, we got the three of wands coming in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse as well. So someone is definitely wanting to have some time alone with you, okay? Um, this person definitely wants a connection. Two of Wands energy here. Also, Ace of Cups. So between you and your partner, Libra, there's going to be a lot of love, okay, in your surrounding energy. Um, I do feel like there is a soulmate connection here that you're connecting with, or you guys could be traveling as well, okay? But I feel with this lover's energy, it's going to be a unionship. 
that's divinely guided here happening for the weekend. This is what that reconciliation is all about. All right. So Libra, this looks good, honey. All right. Between you and your partner, there's definitely a um there's definitely some connections here that someone could be hiding as well with the five of wands. Also with the moon energy. Okay, it could be a Pisces. But someone is definitely wanting some sort of communication or you guys are, someone feels left out, but you're still trying to keep push forward this communication, okay? Also could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Also, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Hold on, give me just a second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so I feel like for some of you guys, this person wants communication with you. They want a connection with you, but at the same time, they're having some issues with um expressing that they feel left out and they feel sad about it so let's see their intentions i feel like they want to restart with you libra but i do i feel like they have so much emotions invested in this that uh this person lets their burdens weigh them down okay um but i do feel you guys have a lot of light-hearted energy coming in page of pentacles six of cups here okay definitely could be Someone that you've known from your past coming back to you with some sort of offer. Like I said, it could be some traveling or it could be a distance, but definitely some time um, away with your partner or between you and your partner. But I feel for some of you guys, there's, there's someone who's not really, uh, they need to repair themselves first because they're having some issues with commitment. They're having issues with uh, being deceptive as well. Seven of Sword Energy here, Three of Pentacles. Could be a third party situation for some of you guys, but definitely someone who... Um, is needing to, it, it could be that they're tiptoeing or somebody who's, um, you know, really hurt here that they're having to lie. But to me, for some of you guys, I feel like it's going to be a lighthearted weekend. Um, but in their intentions, I do feel like they are trying to steal some time to get away from certain um, issues because you have the will of fortune, also the judgment energy here. So it's kind of like they're in confliction with their self. They're also like, having issues with being able to call call it out, all right? Uh, being able to actually pinpoint what they need to fix. So I feel like for some of you guys and their intentions, you need to watch this person for sure, especially with their mannerisms and their behaviors and their characteristics um, that they display to you, okay? Especially later on down the line, this person could be very stuck and stagnant as well, all right? So let's see... Um, possible outcomes for you, Libra. All right. So, so far we have here the two of cups, the queen of pentacles, and also the set. See, yeah, the, the nine of swords. This person is, is, is conflicted. Okay. Also the seven of swords here. This person definitely has some issues. Okay. With um, their connections and their unionships. They want love. They're holding on to a lot is what it seems like to me. Definitely could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you guys are dealing with Libra. Um, but I feel like this person's kind of angry because you might be seeming as though you're keeping your options open. All right. Seven of Cup energy here. Also Knight of Swords. So I do feel like possible outcomes. Somebody's going to be trying to come in and out, but they're kind of angry because someone is definitely like online or talking to multiple people, things of that nature. This could be you, Libra, okay? But there's still like this unspoken, um, you know, we're going to do this together type of thing is what I'm seeing here. So definitely be aware of, uh, you know, people that are trying to hide certain things from you. I do feel like that if that doesn't come up for the weekend, that, that will come up um, in the next couple of days, okay? So Libra darlings, definitely new beginnings happening for you. Ten of Cups. All right, full energy here. Um, also with this, somebody has some temperamental issues or some temperamental problems that they really can't fix. You have the Empress energy here in reverse, also the, te uh, the temperance. So to me, someone needs to get their emotions in balance or they could be having some imbalances of their emotions. Some of you guys really just aren't impressed with this person with this Empress energy coming in reverse. Okay, some of you guys are kind of like, hmm, I don't know what this person is going to do to me later on. So I'm kind of just going to, you know, take a stand back and keep my options open. But I feel like they're, they they want to make a move towards you. There definitely could be a lot of work involved here with the King of Pentacles, also the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So a lot of you guys are hustling like a motherfucker is what I'm seeing here. Could be some sort of something that you needed to pinpoint at work or, 
you're really concentrating on that before you're concentrating on love. Okay, but I feel like you're keeping your options open anyway, Reba. Okay. So let's get an advice card for you. Here we go. Libra. Success and growth and seek the truth. Uh oh, baby. So there's some things that you're starting to see that are you're opening up to. Um, but you're gonna be keep you're gonna keep it pushing forward, is what I'm seeing here. All right. Some of you guys are focused because, like I said, there's definitely some work that you guys are taking care of. A lot of um, concentrating on financial matters as well. But I feel like you're going to be finding a lot of balance and seeking the truth and opening uh, some new beginnings here. OK, for new success and new growth, being able to actually see and pinpoint shit and be like, OK, I called that out and I don't like that shit. And I think it's time to change it. That's what I'm seeing here, Libra. But definitely some time away. You might be chit-chatting this weekend for some of you guys, but someone does have a lot of love for you, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on to my Aquarian darlings. Let's see what the magical messages from the fairies have to say. Let's see what the magical messages from the fairies have to say. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. So there could be something you're telling yourself every day. You need to make things come into fruition. You could be practicing positive thoughts, okay, affirmations, because you have perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward, Aquarius. So there could be some things you're trying to humble yourself with with a whole bunch of practice and a whole bunch of time. But with this perfect timing, there is something that is definitely coming in for you that looks really good. Let's get an advice card for you, Aquarius. Let's see. Off top, we have a sacral chakra. So some of you guys are changing up your basis of how you think of things, okay? Um, I do feel like you're opening up this new beginning. You're listening to a lot here. You're taking in a lot of consideration of what you should have listened to in the past and the present, okay, and the future. So let's see what's going on between you this weekend. Here we go. We got Scorpion Energy, Death, and the Magician. So this is perfect timing right here, baby. There could have been a restart or some sort of start over that you could be dealing with for the weekend with the Scorpion, Plutonian Energy, also Aries, Virgo, and Gemini. You definitely could be feeling like you're calling yourself into power you could be really trying to get things taken off. You might be trying to um, set the tone for what's up and coming for the next week. All right. A lot of you guys are utilizing your positions of power is what I'm seeing here. So let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Here we go. Romance angels. Give me some cards for Aquarius. Oh, wow. Reconciliation. All right. That's what that Plutonian energy is all about. So um, for some of you guys, you are in this perfect timing that you're getting. Um, I feel like this is moving into your love life as well. Um, there's a rejuvenation here that you're having to reconsider or you're definitely having to think of the power that you have of the control in your relationship as well. OK, for some of you all, you're still getting to know this person as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So some of you all might be having a reconciliation over the weekend. And if you're going to spend time with this person, OK, or if it's worth getting to know them a little bit more, giving them more time, passion. Uh oh, baby. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, Aquarius. So y'all got some sex energy coming in and definitely getting to know each other. So you could be on a, a getaway with your partner, going to go shoot pool, going to go have fun, okay, getting out and about. So let's see what's going on, okay, Aquarius? Here we go. Between you and your partner, I definitely feel like you guys are making a heart-to-head decision, head-to-heart, whatever you want to call it, whatever goes first for you, Aquarius. Um, especially with making a decision with you and your partner, I feel like you're definitely concentrating on work. For some of you guys, um, to me, you're waiting on this happiness with this nine of cups for your person to bring through or come through, you know, sitting around, chilling around the motherfucking campfires. For some of you guys, it could be some plans um, that you're really deliberating over, 
Okay, especially if it's taking a gamble or you feel like it might be too much of a gamble for some of you guys. Okay, Aquarius. So I definitely feel like between you and your partner, you guys are going to be drinking, chilling, whatever it is that you guys normally do. It's going to be intensified this weekend, especially with this star energy here, 10 of pentacles and also the 10 of motherfucking cups. So oh, look at this, y'all. I mean, seriously. Between you and your lover, you could be thinking about some foundations, things of that nature that you're bringing in together with your emotions. But things look really good, Aquarius. It really does. You could be guarded um, towards certain things. But I do feel you guys feel in your element and feel in your essence with the star energy here anyway. Some of y'all could be getting naked. Okay. So let's see your partner's intentions. Ace of Wands. Wow. Definitely a new beginning. They could be spying on you as well. Could be some sexual passion. I told y'all this is what that passion is all about, baby. That Ace of Wands. Okay. So I feel like in your partner's intentions, they're going to be watching you, profiling you, okay, sniffing you out, digging in your trash can, things of that nature, Aquarius. Um, I also feel like it's going to be a lot of sexual energy. Look how this person is holding on to this palace, baby. Also Empress energy here. So yes, you guys are definitely dealing with somebody who wants a new beginning. They want to get y'all ass naked. Okay, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Also, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, okay, and another air sign. Could be in their sun, moon, or rising, but I feel in their intentions they want a new beginning with you. This looks really good. So, Aquarians, Ace of Cups, possible outcomes. Chariot energy, like I said, some of you guys are on the move, all right? Some of you all are really ready for a new beginning, that free will. You could be dealing with that chariot, Cancerian type of energy, making things move, but also still feeling um, grounded, okay? Um, I also feel for some of you guys, there really is a love coming in that you're going to try to make happen. Definitely, like I said, could be some traveling. Or for some of you guys, you're really just trying to bring together this love and this romance between you and your partner. I feel with the High Priestess energy here, there is a lot of truths that are going to come out from this weekend, my loves. Especially about someone's regrets or things that they regret regretted at some point in time. Possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. So possible outcomes. I do feel like there might be a lot of money being spent, Aquarius, for some of you guys, but watch your money. But other than that, I do feel like a lot of communication is coming out, a lot of love, lighthearted things are coming in this weekend. Okay, it could be with the Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I see two people here enjoying themselves, but someone does feel like they might, you know, if this person has to walk away, then they have to get back to reality, basically, okay? All right, guys, I love you so much. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Try to take things a little light, Aquarius, with this hair font, right? Try not to get all, uh, you know, invested. But it's definitely a lot of sexual tension here. But anyway, all right, guys, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. And check out my website, BarrelsMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. I'll see you guys. In the next video, peace.